Hello friends, this is Umesh and here in this video we are going to learn about serial UART uh, pins on Arduino Uno. So basically a serial function is very important on, on Arduino because it helps us to debug the code. And uh, if you look at which are the uh, which are the pins on Arduino Uno that can be used for uh, serial UART then you can see pin number 0 uh, that is uh, RX pin and pin number 1 on Arduino Uno you can see upper right corner of my screen there is an image and if you follow my mouse cursor pin number 0 is an RX pin and pin number 1 is an DX pin so RX can be used that is a pin number 0 can be used to uh, receive the data from the PC and um, DX pin that is a pin number one on Arduino Uno can be used to send the data to the PC. This TX and RX pin on Arduino Uno that are internally connected to the TX RX pin of USB uh, USB hub type B USB hub you can see on Arduino Uno itself and uh, we all know that uh, with the basics of Arduino that we were going to program this Arduino chip uh, 80 mega 328 chip on Arduino Uno uh, that can be programmed through the USB because through this USB we can connect this Arduino to the computer and we can able to upload the program. So that means there are two functions that this uh, TX and RX pin performs here in Arduino is one is to um, upload the program onto the chip because that also happening over the serial um, TX and RX uh, pins. You can see TX and RX LEDs are here if you follow my mouse cursor it's very little I'm not sure whether you can see it or not and the second function is uh, for the debugging that is very important so uh, let's say if you connect any sensor to an Arduino board and you want to see what is the temperature because a uh, microcontroller can read the data from the sensor but if you don't have a debugging functionality then you cannot able to see it what exactly coming and there uh, the serial function or serial UART uh, peripheral is very important because Arduino serial library uses this TX and RX pin on Arduino that is a pin number 0 and pin number 1. Apart from that this uh, serial function that is serial UART pin are also useful when it comes to adding uh, Bluetooth, GSM, GPS and so many peripherals to your Arduino project. So it's very important for us to understand how the serial um, UART works on um, Arduino Uno. So um, as like any program uh, we will going to start with a very simple project simple program and uh, this will be the the best or maybe the most famous program on this planet that is a hollow world. So you can see on the left side of the screen there is a sketch so I can able to uh, save this uh, sketch first as a serial on a desktop okay and you can see what I have on my screen is one is a setup function and one is a loop function so this is a bare code I mean um, minimum you have to have these two functions on your any Arduino sketch or Arduino program so to use a serial function and to do hello world program we have to say serial dot begin this is the um, this is a um, function that you can call in order to set up the serial uh, UART peripheral on Arduino Uno and then the serial dot begin takes a parameter that is a baud rate so let's give it a 9600 now the question is what is this baud rate baud rate is nothing but the speed the data communication speed um, you can say it's a bandwidth or something like that it's a it's it's in a um, it's in a unit of bits per second so when you are uh, transmit a data from your microcontroller to PC because this this TX and RX used to send the data from PC uh, to the microcontroller and from microcontroller to the PC right host PC so um, you have to specify at what bits per second you want this communication to happen so 9600 is in baud rate so 9600 bits per second could be uh, transferring so this is all you have to set up the serial function serial peripheral in your uh, Arduino sketch and then you can say serial dot print print ln so if you just type a print then it will uh, flash or maybe send the string but we can say print ln that will print the string that will going to pass here onto the new line so let's say if I say hello world and that's all you have to do I mean 
uh, what is what, what this program does is let's give it delay delay is another Arduino built-in function which uh, gives a, which takes the parameter in milliseconds so if I say thousand then it's a thousand a millisecond that means a one second so what what happens is in a setup function we set up the serial UART pin that means this TX and RX pin number 0 and 1 on Arduino and then in a loop function we keep printing hello world hello world keep printing hello world after every one second of the delay so once this code is is written then we have to uh, upload this code onto Arduino board so go to tools and make sure you have a right board selected Arduino Uno so by default I have Arduino Uno so I don't have to change it anything then make sure you have a right COM port selected here in this case it's a COM12 so I'm good to go with and then just hit upload button and that will upload the sketch onto your Arduino board so as you can see right now are uh, done uploading that means your code has been flashed onto your Arduino chip so let's go to tools and uh, open the serial monitor and see if you can receive the hello world that you are sending right so if you look at this um, you realize that now this uh, hello world string is printing after every one second of the delay the same thing that you expected one more interesting thing you must know when it comes to serial communication is you have to make sure um, when you open the serial monitor you have to make sure at the lower right corner there are the different baud rates so it doesn't mean you always have to use a 9600 baud rate you can use other baud rate too but if you choose uh, 115200 or some other baud rate um, on your serial monitor then make sure you also have to change in the code so right now if you look at our code it uses 9600 baud rate and if if we want to communicate to the serial com port of the computer then we must have to select in the lower right corner of the drop down menu that should be 9600 baud rate and then only you can able to see the communication will be establishing and you can able to see the hello world is keep printing after or after every one second of the delay so this is very basic I mean this is a communication that's where your microcontroller sends the hello world string to your PC and now you can able to seize it now what if you want to send something I mean if you say 1 and 0 from your serial monitor if you send 1 and 0 from here and you want to turn on and off the LED connected to this Arduino Uno so what we're gonna do is I would going to uh, write a program and which will turn on and off the LED on Arduino Uno so let's close the serial monitor and the pin that we're going to control is pin number 13 on Arduino Uno I hope you know how to connect an LED to pin number 13 if you don't connect the LED to pin number 13 still you have the built-in LED if you follow my mouse cursor there's a little LED that you can able to see flashing up on your Arduino board so it doesn't matter if you connect externally or not that's 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 okay um, if you can you can connect if not then it's fine right so what we're gonna do is we have to you know change the code so I will um, delete this everything that I have written into the loop function and um, one thing I have to do is um, let's define a variable let's say integer LED and LED will be connected to pin number 13 because we want to control the pin I mean the LED which is connected to pin number 13 of the Arduino Uno so if you connect an LED external LED make sure the longer leg of the LED will go to pin number 13 and the shorter leg will go to the ground okay so once you define which pin you want to control LED equals to 13 then we have to set the pin mode so let's say pin mode um, then we have to say LED that is a pin number 13 and say output because LED is an output device we want to control LED which is an output device so we have to set the pin mode into the output so that we can able to control so the next step is we have to uh, check uh, whether what comes onto the um, onto the Arduino uh, serial port when you send something so we have to say like uh, if if serial dot serial dot available okay and if serial dot available is greater than zero that means when you uh, send something from serial monitor then we have to check what 
comes in, comes in there right so I can say here I can define other variable let's say um, integer uh, read value or just uh, say value make it simple right I don't like things to be complicated so let's say um, value is equal to then we have to say serial dot read so this function read uh, a one byte at a time so when um, you uh, write something I mean when you send something from your serial monitor it reads the one byte and we would going to send one and zero right and then it's better to give a delay of let's say a five millisecond a very little delay otherwise you will send something uh, you will type one and then send it and it will send over and over again because your microchips are very very fast and to avoid those kind of things better if you can add a little delay of five milliseconds you cannot even see by human eyes five milliseconds it's very very little so once this is done then we have to check um, into, into the serial function itself okay so once this is done okay then uh, we must check if let's say if value equal equals to you have to make sure that you can type into the single quotation because it will be a byte a character or a byte one byte means one character right so if value equal equals to one if you send one from your serial monitor then we have to say digital right and uh, what we want to do when it's a one then we have to make LED high okay and um, then we also can say like a serial dot print print LN let's say LED is on right you can write anything it's not uh, very very important right just for debugging and uh, let me copy this and let me paste it here again and the second thing we have to test is if value equals to zero then we have to say digital write and we have to make it low if it's a zero and we have to print on a serial monitor that LED is off you can see by default this uh, entire code is not actually uh, very well um, uh, indent you know aligned so what you can do is you can just uh, press control A on your keyboard that will select the entire sketch and then say control T or you can right click and say um, auto format and you can see now it's been the code has been auto formatted right so let's upload the sketch and see whether we can able to uh, program this uh, um, whether we can able to control the LED from serial monitor okay so let's click on upload button in upper left corner there is a right arrow key that's an upload button so once it is once the code is uploaded we can open the serial monitor you can go to tools and open a serial monitor or you can go to this uh, upper right corner of your IDE there is a serial monitor shortcut you can open that up and then let's say if I type 1 I expect this to turn on the LED and as you can see LED is turned on and it prints the LED is on so if I send 0 from serial monitor you can see the LED is turned off right you can make it again on off so now you can see like how we can um, in the first example we have seen how microcontroller can send a string to the PC using TX and RX serial UART and in the second example we have seen how we can uh, write a 0 and 1 from the PC from the serial monitor the COM port of the PC uh, to the microcontroller so that we can able to control the LED which is connected to Arduino Uno. Um, I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining. Uh, in the next video perhaps we're going to explore a serial, um, serial software library which is a, 
which is another very famous uh, feature of Arduino Uno or uh, not a feature exactly but it's in library Arduino library uh, which uh, allows us to um, use this uh, TX and RX pin on other pins so we can map the functionality of TX and RX on other pins that would be very handy and very important function when we uh, library sorry uh, when we want to uh, talk to the Bluetooth and GSM and GPS and other external peripherals so we'll catch you in the next video if you like this video then please uh, consider to like and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video bye bye